Well, boys, it's happened. The quarantine's in effect, and at the moment, I'm kind of bored, not gonna lie. But I'm pretty sure we can find some things to do. A tier list. Now, I've seen people do tier lists before. Like, they used to be pretty freaking popular. They're, they still happen now and then. But which one would we do? Let's do it. I haven't played any Final Fantasy games except for a couple, but let's freaking go. Uh. Hmm. Sephiroth. Okay, I see Sephiroth. He's automatically going to S tier. Actually, Omega S tier. He's pretty freaking cool. From what I've seen of him, pretty freaking cool. Um. Anyway, I don't know. I'm just gonna put. Um. At C. Because <laughs> they might be cool? I mean, who knows? Now, I think. Let's see. Is this like Final Fantasy VII? Or are we talking like. No, this is definitely... Actually, no. I think this is just Final Fantasy VII. I could be wrong. I think I am wrong. But I see more Final Fantasy VII characters. I think it's just Final Fantasy VII. Um, okay. Well, from what I know about you, you're pretty cool. Uh... Sure. Whatever that means. But it's higher than C, so I'm just gonna guess that means good. Uh, you're pretty cool. From what I played the demo, you're pretty cool. Haven't seen a lot of you. You're probably pretty cool though. You don't look that cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you're alright. No. I can. I don't know. So here you go. You go to C. You go to C as well. It's fine. Cloud, you you just join. Join your party! <laughs> Join your party in the same grouping. No. Oh, you look interesting. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put you with the party. Whatever. No. Um. See? <laughs> I feel everyone's just gonna be mad at me for doing tier list stuff. I think they just don't know. But that's the joy in it. This is the joy in it. I don't know which fanbase. Uh, the Final Fantasy fanbase might not even be. They have upset of where I placed them. Just know, guys, I had no absolutely barely anything about Final Fantasy VII, but I'm placing them all in C. Just <laughs> here we go. They're all going in C. <laughs> here we go. There we go. Well, no, you go in C. All y'all going in C. Now Tifa, automatic S tier. No reason whatsoever. Automatic S tier. I'm not going to debate it. That's just what it is. Everyone else is in C tier. That is how this is played. The bot. What is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stands? What is this? S tier. Stands is S tier. There we go. Pretty much. Tetris pieces? Yo, dude, no lie, no lie, the T block is S tier, it's... <laughs> Everyone else, freaking trash, T block's the way to go, the main character of Tetris is the T block, don't care what you gotta say. Wait, oh, this is someone else's tier list. You put basketball at top tier? Wait, what's low tier? Okay, sure. Whatever. That that's not my tier list, it's someone else's tier list. Uh you can rank that if you want. <laughs> this is the best anime femme tier list I've seen. It's so good that no one else is competition for this one girl. So these are now. There's been something I've wanted to do on Fiverr that I feel we should do for a video. And what do you know? We're doing a video because I'm bored. But it's going to be pretty cursed and pretty hype, hopefully. So, you've all heard of popular stop motion 
Mimnook the demon in the fight against hell. Well, what if we put him in one of the so-called fan fictions? Now, it's going to be cursed, but we're about to spin this wheel, and whoever it lands on, that's... That's the character we're going to... Oh, gosh. This is going to be terrible. But it's going to be funny, too. All right. So, spin that wheel. Let's see who we get. Oh. Well, um... Okay. I, th I think... Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, gosh. I guess we'll do this one. This is going to be so bad. We give Mimnook the Demon a rap song. I, I know. Mind-blowing. The only question is which one. Because a lot of these... We should do this one. Because, I mean, look at this. All we need is this. It doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to sound amazing. So... We have these two things happening. Now, keep in mind, Minnook, when he learns about this, he might be like, what the heck? But hey, look on the bright side. Dude got a rap song in a fan fiction before the SK team. So, I I think this is probably the best thing that's going to happen. I guess I'll see you guys when they're done. It says three-day delivery. Which one is the other one? Five-day delivery. Dang. Guess I'll see you guys in a week. <laughs> Been a bit since I've been on the Rivals of Ether Workshop, so I think we should download some more characters because gotta have more characters. There's so many. Like I, I it just clicked into me. There's so many characters on the workshop. You know I don't think we need to download too many. We're gonna make another stream eventually. Last one's Garfield. Let's go play the game. Well, here he is, the me brawler from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, there's not much to say about it. It looks like the me brawler. Oh, he even has the ball. Dude, that's a pretty strong me brawler. Even got the flip. Oh, that's, I'm so glad the suplex is in here. Yes. Wow, Craig is dying to this meat brawler. Not gonna lie. Oh, the suplex is cool. Not gonna lie, suplex is a great move. Just in terms of how cool it looks. Oh gosh, we died. Oh fudge. Jump! Oh, Craig, save me! Craig! Craig! <laughs> Freaking died! Me Brawler wins! Yep, yeah, that's the Me Brawler. Okay. Shovel Knight don't know what hit him. Oh my gosh! Okay. Okay, let's check all the moves though. The teleporting move. Yep. Okay, down B. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Wait. Go over here. No, I don't get it anymore. Oh, it's a. So Andrew's. Okay, I'm getting it. Understanding what Andrew's supposed to be. Andrew's supposed to be a peacock. Alright, die. Oh gosh, that was not gonna work. But that did. Hooray!
Andrew had his own song at the end. Okay. All right, we're gonna guess what we're doing. Die. Oh shoot! I was not ready for that. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? I get it. Me understand. Interesting. Okay, so her aerials. You have the the Poyo Poyo aspect of it, and yeah, that's happening. Goodbye. Can we charge that? No, we cannot charge Maya. Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, it did! <laughs> so that must have been the victory theme. Nice. Um, let's go to Roria. All right, suitcase. So in your suitcase, you have whatever that is. This is by far one of the most random characters I've played. Like, I've played a bunch of random characters on, on this game. There's been some wacky ideas from some wacky people. But gosh dang, a literal suitcase is a playable character. I've seen cars in fighting games. Now I'm seeing suitcases. <laughs> I've seen guns. I've, I've seen rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess right now. A literal piece of grass is gonna be the next playable character for Rivals of Ether. What does this bar do at the bottom? Oh. Okay, okay. Me understand. Do we just get a power up? Or no. Hold on, let me learn my moves. I like how he has a bit of roll to him. Like, you stop, and then he, like, rolls. Like, that's pretty cool. Attention to detail. It's a small bit. But it's good. I like it. Let's go. A literal suitcase. Like, this move in particular feels familiar. It's, it feels like Ash, and I think... Something tells me the person that made Ash made this. Which would make sense. I wouldn't be surprised. What the fudge was that? High wind? Oh gosh! Ooh! Don't <laughs> what the fudge! Okay, I know you're popping off, but chill! Ah oh, fudge. Well, this is definitely a night, I gotta say. Oh, that's just about it. Okay, we are going into an anime-style character. Here we go. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. What? I, I'm trying to process. 
I'm pretty sure. Like, yep, yeah. Oh, oh what? Can you just? <laughs> I thought I could combo that like infinitely. But I suppose not. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, so the bars at the bottom. Can they help you like go higher up? They do. Oh. Hooray. We got win. You on? No, no, you. Is <laughs> you on? Nope, that says no, you. I don't remember when <laughs> Garfield said no, you. Okay. Wait, what just happened? Was that pair? What? Oh, that's a counter. I wonder if I can hit that though. And he's standing on the sandwich, of course. What the fudge? I didn't even see that. Glad I did. What the fudge? Come on. Oh, fudge. We can't lose to Garfield. Come on, counter. I want to see it. Ah, oh, I should have ran up. But now he's in his armor. Got him with the you, no you, you on combo. Oh, we did it. I don't know what that did. Oh, now he's sad? Because his bear died? Wait, huh? Oh, let's go. Fall down, Garfield. Look at Garfield standing in the clouds. This is something else. Why not we join a very old game that we played on the channel? Hello, good boy. Oh, fudge! I didn't even get to do anything! <laughs> How? Wow. Okay, Blue survived. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. We're staying in. We're staying in! Gosh. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta go get a weapon. Fudge! I'm staying in. No. No. No! Snakes in black holes? What the fudge? I am dead. Nope, nope, nope. There I go! Hey, let's go. Crown belongs to the boy. Fudge, no. Nobody got it. Also, it's not even Halloween anymore. No, I'm just dead. No, oh, I distracted him. He thought I was still alive. <laughs> Blue's just running around without a weapon. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I don't know how that happened. 
I'm not gonna question. Oh fudge, yellow got it. Run! Oh fudge! Okay, let's say that they can do it because I'm dead. Let's see if they can do it. Beat him! He's literally just an Undertale boss. Get him! Red is the only one left. Come on, Red. Take him down. His health, uh, his health depleting. You're the king as of right now. Unless he wins. So close. Oh! He got him! Oh, let me try to get it. Let me try to get it. I want to be the... I want to be the one. Oh, it's blue. Oh, I'm still alive. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just getting flung up in the air. Ah, oh, perfect. The perfect place to hide. <gasps> oh, dang. Susan, you heard that one? That wasn't me. What's going on? Blue's not even- Blue's not even attacking. He's letting this happen. Yo, red's refusing. And then I jump in! I've got the snake gun! Oh. We're staying in it, we're staying in it, we're staying in it, we're staying in it. This is to the end! Let's go. Didn't even have to do much. Alright. Now. That's all me. That's all me! Oh. I keep forgetting some of these weapons can just kill me. I'm after you. It's over. That's about it. Oh, oh, I'm still alive. Grab the gun. And with that, uh, I, I think it's safe to say we're gone. All right, boys, it's been a week. I'm still kind of bored, but our fiber orders have came in. Now, if you don't remember what we ordered, the first one was, well, the first one was technically the fan fiction. And the second one was the rap song because I felt bad about the fan fiction. <laughs> so hopefully the rap song will be pretty good. All right, so I downloaded the rap song as well as the story. So we're gonna look at these now, and we're just gonna see how they how they play out, I guess. Been out a few earth years, but he's on his way back. The king is basically the enemy's clap. He sent them shockwaves through your spine. Better run, but you can't hide. He take on robots, take on goons. He take on your whole platoon. Catch him chilling with fury, chopping up a plan. He's down for whatever, cause he a madman. And when the team together, it's hot. Cause nobody do it like the organized. We're speaking hot, the head of the hell. The fight Lucifer and free sub as well. But even if they do succeed, can Lucifer truly face defeat? We'll stay tuned and set sail with Mimnook the demon in the fight against hell. Wow. All right, all right. So, first off, I like it. I really do. So, what I laid out for this person was that I wanted them to make a song about Minute the Demon. I gave him the link to the video and just wait to see what happened. And this is what we got. So 
I'm impressed. I'm pretty impressed. That's definitely what we asked for. I think probably my favorite part is like near the end. It's like, even if they do succeed, can Lucifer truly face defeat? Like, I like that because it shows that they did do the research. It's like, can Lucifer truly be defeated? Because, spoiler alert, if you don't remember, at the end of Minute the Demon, it's hinted at that Lucifer will return. So, it is pretty freaking cool that that was in there. Also, laying out the whole plot as well. Facing Lucifer and trying to save Sub. That's basically the plot of the movie. And, yeah, it's in the song. So, definitely pretty freaking good. Got to hand it to the king himself. He did, he did do his research. Alright. Now is the moment you've been waiting for. The fan fiction with Mimnook and Ruby from Ruby. All right, let me make it clear. I would never pair these two in a relationship like ever, but it'd be funny. So we're going to do it. Um, I didn't tell like the person anything that I wanted for the story. I just wanted to see what they would come up with. So I'm blind. I don't know what they came up with for this story. Also, all I told them was, Yo, Mimnook? Ruby, put them together. Do something. Do something for the content. And let's just say we got a lengthy boy. But this was almost about to get canceled due to the fact that the person's grandfather tested positive for the coronavirus, which sucks. And I would have been perfectly fine if they ended it there. It was like, I'm going to have to cancel do the family matters. But they decided to finish the story. So I thank them for that. Hope their grandfather gets better soon. And I guess it's time to read the story. But first, I would like to tell you, you might want to at least watch like, what, one episode of Ruby and the entire movie of Mimnook to at least understand the story better. I mean... If you don't want to, I understand, perfectly fine, but if you want that th that very good knowledge of the two characters before jumping into this, be my guest. But alright, without any further ado, let's get into this story. <clears throat> Ruby was by no means claustrophobic, but being stuck in a tiny vent can get annoying undeniably fast, especially when you're stuck there with a masked man you've never met. Good thing for her, the man next to her wasn't a robber or criminal, but her partner. Why they partnered her with someone she's never worked with before was beyond her. He called himself Mimnook. Well, whatever that meant. Hey Red, should we go down yet? Why was he talking? <laughs> Okay, pause, pause. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I like how that's the first line of the sentence. Why is this man talking to me? <laughs> a finger placed on her lip. He mouthed a quick sorry to her before turning his eyes back towards the vent covering between them. This guy was supposed to be out of this world from another dimension. Unbelievably great. Yet, he can't stay silent on infiltration? It's not like she was the greatest hero of all time. But at least she knew job basics. Alright, so... Spoiler alert. But yes, Mimnook did mess up his infiltration mission in the movie. But... <laughs> I do like how they squeezed that in there. I think that is pretty cool. If it wasn't intentional, then even better. Because that just means... They got that right. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. That's what she's been waiting for. The signal meant that their visitor would be there in exactly 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Just enough time to scout the area for the kidnapped girl. Her gaze light lifted slightly, meeting her partner's eager eyes. It seems some heroes are always just so hungry for a fight. Not to say she wasn't excited to though. It'd been a minute since she'd worked the field, and now was her chance to get back out there. Her leggings were sure to rip on all the screws in the vent, They began to crawl through the narrow corridors, 
of the vents, making sure they were following the route their trackers illuminated. Finally, a small smile graced her face. They reached their opening. Hey, I have the tools. Can I get in front of you? Minnick whispered from behind her. Normally, she'd happily oblige, but due to the tight space, things could get a little too close for her liking. She could do it herself. The handiwork wasn't exactly her strong suit. She turned her head, hesitating for an answer. She'd just have to get over it, wouldn't she? Oh boy, I know where this is going. Alright. <laughs> I think I know what this is going. I don't want to say where it's going, but alright. Alright. He awkwardly tried to wiggle around her, practically kneeing her arm in the process. Finally, he was able to get to work, unscrewing the latch and placing the clunky metal to the side. Now it's time for the real mission to begin. He dropped out of the vent onto the warehouse floor. He brushed off the dirt and dust from the cramped vents before offering a hand to his elevated partner. She rolled her eyes before smiling and taking the overreached the outreach hand, with both of them now on the floor, started their search. We could split up, cover more ground faster, right? She suggested already making a plan to scout the area. No! Have you seen horror movies? Bad things always happen when the characters split up. Well, this isn't a horror movie, now is it? Or are you just afraid of going alone? She taunted even though she knew that they didn't have time to argue over such minuscule things. We're not splitting up. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's go over to those shelves in the back. She huffed unhappily about giving into his argument. She turned to the shelves stacked in the corner. They were the obvious first place to check for a hidden person. Big enough space, enough holes for air, food can easily be transported in and out. All the things needed to make the perfect spot for hiding someone in plain sight. Kidnapping situations were probably one of her least favorite things to deal with. Comforting people isn't exactly easy for someone like her. Her ability to pick up on social cues was pretty much the bare minimum to be in this line of work. But for right now, all that mattered was getting the haunches out of her safe out of here safe and sound she continued making her way over to the boxes in the corner before a hand grabbed her um <laughs> fortunately for her that hand was just <laughs> oh gosh unfortunately for men that grabbing red's arm unexpectedly like mo <laughs> will most likely earn a punch in to the face oh boy well men that got punched oh well <laughs> You hate to see it. <laughs> he just formed the winds beneath the mask as he held a hand up to his now red cheek. Red began apologizing profusely, waving her arms as he tried to defuse the situation. It's okay, Red. Relax. We just gotta focus on getting the hostages out of here, right? The air in the warehouse felt stale as she breathed it in. Doing nothing to ease her nerves about finding the little girl. They reached the shelves without much time to spare. This mission was going to be on time according to the faint vibration of her watch. They Nothing, not hair, fingerprints, or trace of human life in sight on the outside. If the girl was really, if the girl really was in this box, as she suspected, they whoever put her there did a good job of cleaning up their crime. I'm trying to wonder who the bad guy's gonna be. Who the crap could the bad guy be? Aw, oh, it, it's me, Lucifer. I came to kidnap this little girl. Then Minda heard something. A faint crying to be exact. Do you hear that? He asked looking around to pinpoint where the noise came from. No. What are you talking about? Come on. I think I know where our hostage is. He grabbed her hand and pulled her to follow him to down one of the tall 
aisles filled to the brim with various shapes and sizes of cargo boxes. They reached one that looked like it had been through some stuff. The sides were banged up and dented. The tape looked as though it was going to fall off at any second. And three holes were punched in the top. Hey, kill my shoulders. He crashed to the floor and bent his head down slightly to make it easier for her. Hell no. Why can't we just get a ladder? Ladders will make way too much noise regardless of how empty this warehouse may seem to be. Just kill my soldiers, we're wasting time. He replied. Mm. I, I see you I see him, Mimnook. I see him. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Don't get touchy. She got on his shoulders as he wobbled a little to get adjusted to the new weight. She reached inside the broken down box to pull out a small whiny toddler. Great. Now get off my shoulders. We gotta go before her kid never gets back. Mmm. A new voice began to enter the conversation. Before who gets back, hero? A man smirk, causing their already wobbly tower to topple in shock. The eager toddler pawed at Red's cloak, most likely oblivious to the danger of the situation. Those cameras you thought you disabled, well, you missed one. Gosh dang, gosh dang it. What the fudge, Mimnook, what the fudge? <laughs> it, was, it was, it was so, it was so easy. I, I feel like this is exactly how it would go, though. Like, not gonna lie. This is probably how it would go. They would, like, miss one camera because, of course, like I said, Mimnook did mess up the operation. But of course the plan changed, so I'm still waiting. Well, I'll still see what happens. He pointed to a small camera in the corner that should have been impossible to miss. But apparently, the pre-mission department was getting lazy. Mm. Red swung at the kidnapper, only for her fist to get caught in the man's hand. He spun her, her around with ease, holding her by the waist with a knife to her throat. The situation probably couldn't go worse at this point. A knife was to her throat. Her partner looked like he was on the verge of a panic attack. And there was a wailing toddler on the dirty warehouse floor. Then something strange happened. The next boy look changed into one of determination, confusing her and the kidnapper trying to kill her. Oh shoot. He marched up to them, clearly playing something. But what could be? She had no idea. <laughs> what the fudge? He grabbed her by the face and kissed her? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Okay. What the fudge? <laughs> this is. This is. Okay. <laughs> Why was he kissing? She was about to die, and he needed more time. Time. This was a diversion. A strange one, at that, but a diversion nonetheless. She took the poison cloak dagger she always kept in her pocket and stabbed the man's back without hesitation. He fell forward in a matter of seconds, barely scraping Ruby's neck with the knife along the way. She turned away from the dying man to look at her now smirking partner. Pulling him by the collar, she brought him inches away from her face. Mmm, that was a hell of a save. But if you try that again, without telling me, that dagger will be in your back. He nodded before reaching down to pick up the baby. They made their way to exit the factory just before they reached the door to go out and deal with the oncoming reinforcements. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. <laughs> and police. 
She turned to her partner and kissed his already blushing cheek. You know, maybe you're not such a bad partner after all. She laughed before pushing open the door, leaving her dazed and confused partner there to le deal with what just happened. I'm trying to figure out what just happened. What? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, gosh. So, I guess that's what we got now. Mm. Well then, I guess that's the end of it. <laughs> so, there you have it. I feel it's pretty accurate to how it would go. Kinda. I feel it's pretty accurate. But anyway, thank you for watching this I'm Bored video. Um... I guess Midnick has a fanfiction now. He he has a fanfiction before the SK team. I feel that is an achievement in itself. <laughs> so round of applause. Um <laughs> That was pretty that was pretty alright. That was pretty good. It, it gave me a laugh or two. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Oh gosh. <laughs>